Hi there, um, in uh, today's video I'm going to talk about uh, working uh, methodology when uh, you are developing a mobile app. So in fact, <clears throat> what you need to have is uh, to draft a spec document. So spec document is nothing more than describing what your project will be about. Uh, just to let you know that it's uh, really similar to uh, writing it uh, for websites. Uh, here are the main uh, categories that I uh, strongly recommend you to go through. And I strongly recommend you to draft a spec document before starting developing your mobile app. Because uh, in the past I used to develop about hundreds of uh, mobile app and by experience just by drafting your spec document you're gonna save a lot of time because maybe you are going on a dead end. Maybe the technology that you are using is not the right one. Uh, maybe the app that you want to create is um, too difficult for you. Maybe it has been already created and it's already better. Uh, and many other questions that you need uh, to have the answer before starting your project. This is very useful, so please uh, go for a spec document before starting your project, even if you are very excited about, um, let's say, starting your project, you need to have this spec document anyway. And so out of the question that you need to answer, I strongly advise you to answer to the following one, which is uh, who is your client? Because it will help you understand a little bit more um, who you are working for and where your app is going to be or how it's going to be used. Um, then uh, ask uh, to your client what are its needs. So for example, in uh, the following case, it's about designing a mobile app in order to know uh, the satisfaction of people within a retail store. Um, then about uh, the audience. So who is going to use uh, your uh, mobile app? Is it going to be techie person or is it going to be uh, people who are not uh, techie at all? Then uh, the fourth part is exactly like for the websites is about, okay, what's going to be within your app in terms of text, in terms of uh, design? Um, here, what could be very useful is that uh, you can use um, software such as Pencil. So here's Pencil um, in order for you to already uh, show how you would like your app to look like. So you can uh, do your wireframing here with Pencil. This is a free software and you can easily just show. Okay, so they are going to have uh, like uh, two screen and on those two screen, uh, we will have the possibility to see what the page look like. So. Um, if I go for the home and okay, I may not have actually on this given page the uh, thank you page, but I have it uh, over here. You see, so this is an app which is composed of two screens. So I make them with uh, with pencil, and I can clearly show what my app will look like. It will give a good idea uh, to the people with who you are working with what the app will look like at the end of the day. Then precise what are the features that you would like uh, to add within your app. In my case, I would like, for example, the data to be collected through a database and the one of uh, Matomo Analytics, for example. And then here I'm describing uh, the behavior of the app. For example, after a delay of five seconds, people will have to be uh, redirected to the main screen. Um, then um, precise as well in terms of uh, resources, what you need to have. So for example, here regarding the graphical part, um, clearly saying that, okay, I will need to draft the smiley. So I will need to do a bit of design, but I probably able to do it myself. Uh, regarding the low aspect in my case, it's just going to be used by people, uh, by customer of the, the company. So it's not intended in order to go on the Play Store and things like this. Uh, there's no business model, uh, so here it is just about getting the feedback in order to improve the global experience on the retail store. And uh, then question number nine about how the app will be promoted. Just be uh, self-promoted. Uh, it's not going to go into uh, an app store or a play store or um, uh, the other stores. And um, then the part number 10 is about, okay, who is going to work on this project and what kind of uh, technology you would like uh, to use. So in my case, just going to be for fun. So I'm going to use a CMS. I'm going to use as well a bright technology. I'm going to do it as well with native Android. As you can see, I didn't precise here the iOS app because I'm not expert enough on iOS in order to be able to draft it. But that's the whole thing about a working methodology is just defining 
at the big points, big categories that you need to have answer from before starting to design your mobile app. Thanks for watching.